he is also from the same thing i think i welcome uh, today's speaker is going to join just wait so i started uh, geopolymer uh, concrete uh, professor good evening namaste sir. good evening professor namaste namaste how namaste how are you fine 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 how are you no, fine fine sir just i am talking to the audience there are 20 nirmiti kendra engineers they are going to join because okay. we have mentioned just four ten i posted just now in the group that's okay that's okay that's okay we'll wait sir we'll wait we'll no, wait no, no, sir, uh, youtube is live now okay good good who is talking sanat uh, sanat yeah. <laughs> okay 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 sanat any instructions for okay, sir uh, sir you can share your ppt sir radha krishna sir Ah, uh-huh, okay. I'll share when when I have to share. Now only you can share, sir. Now only. Yeah. Where where? Uh, no, you do below screen sharing, screen option. Screen sharing. Screen. screen sharing. Okay, okay. Screen sharing. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> screen sharing. Uh-huh. On me, turn me, turn me. Sir, one more thing. You have to edit any videos are there, sir? Yeah, sir. No, no, no video, no video, please. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
third party consultants. I'm very happy, sir. And also thank you for accepting our invitation and uh, sparing valuable time with us. And this is the need of the hour. All the Nirguti Kendra engineers are mainly working on more on concrete. At least uh, how to design eco-friendly, sustainable concrete with energy efficient, zero cement. Therefore, we wish to have one topic, uh, one of the knowledge uh, transfer for uh, to take up the, some works. I welcome once again on behalf of uh, the skill center and my dir director and my own behalf and also with the participants. I'm very happy, honored to welcome you, sir, for this uh, online you. seminar. Thank you. And also, I welcome our uh, director, sir. Uh, he is going to join shortly. Uh, he is our backbone of all these activities. And uh, I'm very happy and uh, uh, honored to welcome him also. And also, I welcome all the Nirmiti Kendra engineers and some of the CMTI trainers and also all the postgraduate students of uh, uh, construction technology and management who are all uh, expressed to join. And also, uh, just to share, we made a YouTube also, sir. We have shared that YouTube to many colleges, but only here we restricted the engineers of PWD and Nirmiti Kendra engineers. I welcome all uh, of you for this uh, lecture. Before going to the uh, seminar, the brief introduction about the speaker of the day, Dr. Radhakshna. He is a professor and head of the department of civil engineering from RVC College of Engineering. He is having 29 years of experience teaching and research and consultancy experience in the area of civil engineering. And he successfully guided eight PhD scholars and guiding six PhDs and six MTech and 26 BE projects. And published over 100 plus research papers in the reputed journals and conferences. And also, uh, Dr. Radakshna is a principal investigator for a DST nano mission project on nano geopolymers. He has done a lot of research. Now he has gone to a nano scale of research uh, worth of 70 lakhs. Congratulations, sir, for this uh, project and also the, your achievement in geopolymer area. And also, sir, is a panelist for technical discussion on various uh, TV channels. And also the Radhakshna uh, awarded as the best scientist by VTU Belagavi during September 2008. Sir also Chartered Engineer, India Institute of Engineers, member of Institute of Engineers, selected member of Managing Committee of Indian Concrete Institute, Karnataka Bangalore Center 2011-16. to He's also a fellow member of Association of Consulting Civil Engineers and also visiting a lot of uh, institutions as a NBA NAC accreditation and also going for a mock accreditation to various engineering colleges in Bangalore and other colleges. And also a member of the board of examiners and board of studies for various autonomous institutions and universities. And he's also a life member of Indian Concrete Institute, uh, Maitik Society, uh, Maitik Society of Bangalore, Canada Sahitya Parishad. He's having a fond of interest in Canada culture, promotion, everything. Thank you, sir. And Karna, Arvindo Society, Karnataka Swadeshi, Vignana, Andolna, Indian Institute of World Culture. Thank you for showing a lot of interest in our Indian culture, especially Karnataka culture developmental activities. Sir also co authored the textbook on eco efficient masonry blocks and uh, masonry bricks and blocks, design properties and durabilities by Elsevera, uh, Woodhead Publishers UK. Contributed three chapters for international textbooks by Springer and Elsevera. And also he is a, also a reviewer of elsewhere uh, papers, journal papers, and executed a research project of rupees 70 lakhs funded by DST, nano mission as a principal investigator. Areas of interest are technology in ancient India, concrete technology in particular reference to geopolymer. And also editor in chief of high manager journal structural engineering, member of the editorial board of high manager journal, member of peer review of the various journals, just to name case studies and construction materials, Construction Building Metals, Canadian Journal of uh, Civil Engineering, Indian Concrete Journal, Journal of Civil Engineering, Construction Technology, and Sugar Tech. Sir also delivered a lot of invited talks uh, other than India, USA, Singapore, du Dubai. Uh, very happy to note, sir. I have voluntarily donated, Sanat Kumar, please note, I have voluntarily donated blood for more than 66 times. Congratulations, sir. Happy to note. Sanat Kumar is the camp officer of the blood collection. Re Two days back, he has uh, done uh, some Rashtotana. He is also in the uh, same line like you. Thank you very Thank much, you. sir. With rich profile, rich experience. Today, our audience will benefit a lot with respect to what is the I will not take much time. I will thank you once again for joining the meeting. Now, please uh, take over the session, sir.
thank you sir thank you very much for your i request all the participants post your question chat box at the end, end of one hour or one hour we will take the questions okay. thank you. can you hear me sir can you hear me yeah yeah you, you are ah. audible you are audible first of all first of all i thank the uh, authorities of the uh, conference or the series of lectures in particular reference to uh, my own friend professor dl vinkesh babu for giving an opportunity thanks sir due to sanat kumar also and thanks to the audience those who are joined having some interest in the research right today i am going to share the research uh, uh, done at rv college of engineering from last uh, 12 years so he has named it as concrete without cement without asking me now i have framed the <laughs> lecture based on this uh, uh, thank you professor kind thank con you. okay oh, one minute first of all let me tell you the structure of the presentation i'll give brief introduction i'll speak about geopolymers algae composites and let us conclude at the end okay. let us know about the geopolymers i'll speak about theory experimentation and also the field application now what is uh, first of all let us know about the concrete as you know ordinary portland cement is the most popular material and it is not environmentally friendly because of emission of uh, emission of co2 uh, approximately 0.7 tons of co2 is released with, with, by the production of 1 ton of opc that's why, and also it is not durable always and requires curing and there are some other challenges of opc this necessitates the um, invention of or think of thinking of alternability materials and technology now different cementitious composites can be made using many industrial based and marginal materials not just because of marginal there are some other other this thing there some of the marginal materials are playa ggbs lime gypsum corridus etc some of them are very potential to use as alternative to opc right using them in construction is the best way to dispose right next let us know what is fly ash i think many speakers have already told about this material uh, just uh, it, it is reputation to many of you it is a by product of thermal power station and also it is rich in silicon and alumina right and uh, it can be activated to convert as binder and a partial replacement of opc right and uh, there is another material called as uh, ground granulated blast furnace slag we call it as ggbfs it is the slag but of course it is a by product of iron industry quenched it is ground granulated that's why it's called as ggbfs remember it is rich in silica calcium and alumina fly ash is rich in silica and alumina but additional thing is calcium here it can be activated to uh, make it a combiner uh, sanath can you help me i i am getting some uh, pop ups here how to eliminate that please sanath yes sir here here one uh, green and all uh, you are watching the screen that uh, uh, bar is coming because, in my way so don't move the cursor there sir no no i am not moving the cursor without moving the cursor only one particular line it is no so it can you is can you may 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 i hide it how to hide it how to hide you can't hide sir that is okay 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 no problem mm -hmm. Okay. No issues. Okay. 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 I, I am out to top. No problem. Okay. Okay. Uh, several building materials uh, can be produced using fly ash. Some of them are high volume fly ash concrete, geopolymer composites, and algae composites. Remember the first one, black one, high volume fly ash concrete, is the word coined by Indian born scientists working at Canada, Canmet, Malhotra, and Mehta. any concrete in which more than 50% of the binder is fly ash then it is called as high volume fly ash concrete they have demonstrated the use in 1970s itself they have constructed many structures including the flyover bridge um, launching pad dams etc where in minimum 50% of fly ash is being used but the other two composites geopolymers and algae are no cement concretes that's what uh, professor vinkesh babu has coined the title of the 
presentation today. Now let us concentrate on this graph. The y-axis shows the replacement level of Lyash. X-axis is various binders, right? It is a replacement level. In OPC, there will be no Lyash. That's why it is zero. But in blended cement, approximately 30. It may go up to 40 also. As I told you, in Lyash concrete, it starts at 50. It may go up to 80 also. But in Falgi and Geopalm, where there are the greenest material, there, there is replacement of 100%. That's why they call it as no cement concrete. We don't use even one gram of cement. Now, let us concentrate on geopolymers first and then come back to Falgi. Next one hour. What is geopolymer? It's a no cement composite. As the uh, title itself says that we, we don't use cement here to make geopolymer. And uh, it is activated by aluminosilicate binders. Any material which is rich in silica and alumina can be called as aluminosilicate binder. So it is uh, formed by the polymerization process. And any material which is rich in silica and alumina, like fly ash and GGBS, can be used. right? And there will be better properties like mechanical, means uh, compressive strength, split tensile cell strength, bond, fatigue, shear, all are better properties, including the fire and acid resistance. So simply, we are not using them. Next, what are what what I am discussing today about geopolymer is thermal cured geopolymer blocks, wherein some heat is supplied for curing. Ambient cured geopolymer blocks, wherein no heat, just keep in open atmosphere at laboratory condition. And geopolymer concrete that is uh, uh, ambient and uh, higher temperature also, right? Next, this is uh, a self-explanatory graph in which we see the density of alkaline activator. I will tell you what is alkaline activator. Uh, it is nothing but, just now I told that geopolymer, geopolymer is nothing but activation by some chemicals. Though the chemicals are water, geopolymer, sorry, uh, one minute. water, sodium hydroxide, and sodium silicate. Together, it is called as alkaline solution. So we add sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate into water. Of course, different molarities. So for your understanding, I written here, one in, if you add one liter, if you want to get one liter of 14 molar solution, you have to take one liter of water, 560 grams of sodium hydroxide, and 1120 grams of sodium silicate. This is only uh, one calculation. I will. Uh, uh, tell you more if you seek any clarification. Now, for various molarities, we have prepared solution, and it is found that after 12 molarity, it is the density is saturated. So normally, that's why many papers, many researchers, they concentrate on 12 molar solution. Right? Next, what are geopolymer compressed blocks and mortar? See, I am calling as F by B. F stands for fluid, B stands for binder. Fluid means it, it is analogous to water. It is like water cement ratio. Instead of water, we are using fluid here. Instead of cement, we are using binder here. So instead of water cement ratio, I am calling as fluid binder ratio. If it is less than 0.25, these are the things. If it is more than 0.25, these are the things. Now, if it is less than 0.25, so for example, and in this case, still it, if it is less than 0.15, it is not compressible and very, very difficult to cast the blocks. But in the range of 0.15 to 0.225, it requires compaction. And it is a three-phase system because it contains solid, liquid, and air. Why air? Because it is not saturated and it is harsh. So this is the material which is called mortar without coarse aggregate that can be used for making the masonry blocks. Now, in case of fluid binder ratio more than 0.25, the mortar will be flowable. Since it is flowable, it does not require compaction. And it is suitable for making concrete if you add a coarse aggregate. And it is two-phase system because there is no air. Because it, is, it, it, it will have solid, liquid, and no air. Remember, if you want to cast the masonry blocks, left-hand side is helpful. Information is helpful. If you want to cast the concrete, right-hand side will be low. It's only fluid binder ratio that matters. Rest all, that is, Methods are same as cement concrete. 
no need to go for any method no need to go for any equipment no need to go for any knowledge only change in materials like kitchen so if you change the per, uh, proportion or materials it will be different right and it, the constants only the difference now we have conducted a practical test using the mortar i don't want to uh, explain this much because those who know soil mechanics they can better, better understand and we found that 0.2 is the optimum fluid binder ratio right so we have started with uh, 0.15 and ended with 0.3 right and we have uh, designed a small static compaction device in which uh, material is added and compressed using uh, compression both sides using lock nuts and then we prepare this for the required density so just uh, no to have understanding how they behave we have cast we have prepared the plugs and these are the various mix proportion that we have used thermal uh, thermally cured so here 10 m means 10 molarity sand means a type of fine aggregate w because some of the samples were wrapped using the files aluminum file and 7 days is the age that i have explained so like that many parameters are used look here i think you can understand different ages different molarities wrapped and un unwrapped fine aggregate is different so so many samples were used and we have used the manually made mission and hydraulic mission both and we have cured in the heat and also in ambient conditions so i am introducing many parameters because since it's a new material we want we don't want to take any risk and if you we want to make uh, a concrete uh, conclusion that's why we have compressed the blacks manually we have compressed the black using hydraulic and all the blacks were cured at heat and ambient uh, temperature sanat can you hear me sanat hello professor you are audible ah uh, uh, you can use my mobile phone sir if there is any problem you have to no, call no, me otherwise no, 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 no. I, i will update you i am uh, okay. okay thank you thank you okay. thank you and the following pictures clearly indicates the method of preparation of blocks see here the fly ash and ggbs are weighed and mixed here so it is like cement and sand mixing like this so it is not water it is uh, the alkaline solution is added to the mix mixed like this and made the mortar mortar is ready weigh the mortar so then using this uh, mardini of course it is mold is lubricated fill the mold with cement that mortar compress it this way and this this is the what is called as mardini operated by um, human beings manually operated developed by, by iisc none other than professor jagdish and his team and it's a very good uh, very useful device which is used for soil stabilized blocks long back in 1960s and 70s same mardini same machine is being used to compress this also so two students are enough if is a labor one person is enough to press it and then we can eject it like this so how beautiful it has come out see and uh, it is immediately after making the block see it is the block is weighed this way marked as per the convenience and kept in open condition no question of adding any water no question of any adding any uh, temperature etc no curing nothing just keep press and keep it right and in case of three phase it is a three phase system because it contains solids means binder and aggregate it contains liquid also it contains air also it because not saturated and then we can apply pressure to test the compressive strength and we can use the uh, available black making machine also static and vibro compaction which is used for making the concrete blocks and of course different blocks are being used you can see there are self explanatory right mold is covered and we used the, even the um, paper blocks also using hydraulic machine see the labor is uh, using this and it is cured in open air and it can be used in mass production also this way and they are kept for open field and these are the paper blocks also that are being used of course now you can ask me what are the variables thermally cured blocks for thermally cured blocks we have used so many variables 
molarity 8 10 12 14 just for understanding how it behaves we are tested at 1 3 7 3, 7 7 the three ages fine aggregate use was sand and quarry dust and curing condition was we kept at 60 degrees celsius wrapped and unwrapped now please bear with me this is only thermally cured blacks i'll go to um, ambient cured blacks little later see this is the density it's, it starts from uh, it ranges from 1.54 to 1.77 same as this one and water content used also listed and this is compressive strength based on the uh, where at constant density of course it is about again 0.2 same as uh, earlier one and this is the relation between various parameters density of uh, specific gravity water content degree of saturation i think those who are soil mechanics uh, uh, students they can better understand this ah this is very important i'll take a few minutes for this it it is the comparison of strength development at lower molarity and higher molarity if you see the left hand curve uh, and this is the six molar curve right so if the if you use six molarity solution the strength development is very slow it picks up and comes down at constant degree of saturation that means at low intensity of the molar solution at very small quantity of lower low composition the compressive strength develop is very less and if you add more solution more strength will come here also of course that is not the case in case of eight molar in case of eight molar sufficient strength is okay that means for making the blacks we recommend minimum of eight molar solution right of course for 10 molar it is like this right it is the fluid binder ratio is also fluid binder ratio this is for 10 and 12 so 6 it is like this 8 is it like this and 10 it is like this so i call this as low molarity is called as high molarity right so in case of low molarity the compressive strength is less in case of high molarity the compressive strength is more and strength de development with the fine aggregate so we, here we have used sand and quarry dust right there is no much variation because particle packing is almost same so dotted is nothing but quarry dust and the thick line is nothing but sand right so even if you use different fine aggregate the strength variation is not much and loss of moisture here so wrapped and unwrapped see here these are wrapped 14 molar these are unwrapped that means uh, we covered this, some of the samples with aluminum file some of them we did not cover so for wrapped samples there is higher strength for unwrapped sample there are lower strength right so there is no much again what uh, age old abrams law holds good even for this abrams abrams uh, stated this law in 1918 for concrete but this is applicable even for geopolymers uh, as the fluid binder ratio increases strength decreases see here please observe this graph anything less than 0.15 cannot be made cubes or blocks because it is very harsh anything more than 0.225 cannot be made blocks because it will be saturated so that's why we operated in the ratio of 0.15 to 0 0.25 0 0.225 so these are for various parameters this is called abrams law because this, this is a variation of compressive strength with respect to fluid binder ratio and if you convert the same graph into binder fluid ratio ulta so here fluid binder ratio and if you convert into binder fluid ratio this is the one see here the only difference is y x axis sorry it is a binder fluid ratio this is the variation so strength is increasing with the increase of binder fluid ratio that is called as bolomis law so abrams and bolomis they are brothers in the technology right so there sorry in case of abrams law it is not straight line but there is some variation but it is a perfect lesson in case of bolomis law right and then now we thought is there any phenomena because there are so many experiments right so there we tried to develop a phenomenological model because the uh, earlier research was uh, inspiration to us. So there, earlier concrete, they say, uh, T.S. Nagaraj and Jahida Banu, strength development depends on various parameters and the portion of the materials are very difficult. The proportion is very difficult. See, you know, concrete mix is very, very difficult because it's a tedious process. And difficulty increases or multiplies with the batch of change of material. Sometimes the sand will be zone 2, sometimes zone 3, sometimes aggregate will be 20 mm, sometimes it may be 10 mm, 
cement will be 53 43 so many things right so that's why it requires a control to recheck the mixed proportion with the minimum test data so we thought can we make a model so then uh, we thought of referring nagaraju and banu uh, my model there please listen to me for one more minute there they have developed a model this is called as film logical model there strength divided by strength at 0.5 water cement ratio is equal to a plus b a plus b are constant which are given here c by w means cement water ratio so that means a and b con are constants here the only variable there are three variables yes s 0.5 and c w c by w that means if you know the strength at 0.5 water cement ratio and the, what what is the water cement ratio you can we can predict the strength easily at any point or vice versa so I'll, I'll repeat more when i take up the other model so shall we the we thought is it possible to use the same methodology for geopolymers so it is true so here you can see strength divided by strength at binder fluid ratio 5 is equal to 0.1833 binder fluid ratio plus 0 0.0747 so this is the model which represented the geopolymers with high degree of correlation with 45 numbers 45 into 5 in fact right now i'll tell you more now here again please listen to me there are three three variables here and if you say strength at binder fluid ratio 5 this will become 5 and you'll get the strength or if you want to calculate the strength this is this is the only parameter which we have to input so please get the strength at binder fluid ratio 5 then this will be eliminated there are two only two variables s and s by b 5 5 so if you know if, if you want to find the strength at any binder fluid ratio you can find or if you want to find the binder fluid ratio for the given strength you can do so out of these three parameters these three variables only one we can input with the experiments so whatever it may be please calculate the strength at binder fluid ratio 5 and make this equation easy then these two are in, independent so this is the model that is developed for thermally cured blocks only thermally cured, thermally cured blocks means we kept all the specimens at o1 uh, at a temperature of 60 degrees celsius for 24 hours next so we want to validate this model with the independent set of experimental data that means the data which is used for the validation of this model is not part of the data which we have developed the model so it is independent set of data was used to validate this and the last column clearly shows the ratio of expected strength and predicted sorry experimental strength and predicted strength it's almost one so that means this model is very much valid you can see the various parameters right so this is about thermally cured blocks next next let us see the same application for ambient cured geopolymer blocks so before proposing this for the field use we had to do so many experiments that's why we thought nobody will appreciate us if you make a model at, at uh, thermally cured conditions we cannot supply heat every time so we thought we can repeat the same process for ambient cured geopolymers the reason is many of the research that is uh, reported by rangan and his research team at cutting cutting university australia they reported only on thermally cured concrete so ambient cured black ambient cured compressed blocks nobody reported so we tried this in 2006 and various parameters see here binder aggregate ratio one is to one one is to one is to three fly ash four types and binder to gbs application so many so many things are there and degree of saturation to next page also it will come and there are two alkaline solutions no sodium hydroxide so potassium hydroxide uh, ambient and uh, thermally cured that we know and different aggregates i'll see here same continued so what are the parameters we considered one two three four five six seven eight nine ten parameters we are considered age one to 180 degrees 180 days fly ash four types alkaline solution two types ratio of binder one is to one one is to two one is to three degree of saturation 40 and 60 molarity of solution 8 10 12 14 fine aggregate two three types temperature binder size so 
we wanted to reconfirm its behavior by changing various possible parameters so that nobody can complain about the use and behavior of this so you, please bear with me until the end i'll speak in applications too and if you see this graph very interesting x axis is compressive strength up to 11 11 mpa sir y axis x axis is age in days from 1 to 1000 if you see the beginning if you see the beginning the strength is rapid from 1 to 17 1 to 7 days sorry should have been here and later the strength decrease the rate of strength decrease is very less and then at the age of say uh, 56 days the strength is almost constant saturated and very important thing is see here minimum strength is 1.5 and maximum strength is 3.5 at the age of one day so if you want to manufacture or if you want to make a brick or if you want to make concrete block one day 3 mpa is impossible here we are getting one day 3 mpa once if you get 3 mpa the r 3.5 mpa the block will be or the brick will be useful directly for the use of construction structural masonry but in case of burnt brick it will take 3 months in case of concrete it will take at least 15 to 20 days so here you will get immediately so strength development is fast here and this is the strength development with fly ash of course coarser fly ash means less strength finer fly ash means more strength that's all so we have used four types of fly ashes and alkaline solution we have used sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate almost same and if it is 1 is to 1 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 as you dilute the uh, uh, mortar there will be less strength so 1 is to 3 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 1 and this is the degree of saturation not important higher molarity and lower molarity at the molarity increases strength increases so we wanted to test all the molarities and this is the strength development temperature only to for academic purpose uh, whether it increases or not so uh, we kept this specimen at 30 40 60 etc up to 80 as this temperature increases strength increases so this is possible only for rapid curing and this is the strength development with fine aggregate so we have used quarry dust we have used pond ash and we have used sand of same uh, zone so it's almost same and with different types of pinders uh, uh, so we have used flya ggba silica film etc so if you see the 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 blocks with meta coilin uh, sir silica film have four times higher so if you use small amount of silica film strength will drastically increase up to 25 mpa you cannot get uh, any brick uh, which is of 25 mpa in nature very difficult in india but we can make using the concrete blocks sir and these are the various shapes of the uh, block that we have used top one are pure block pb1 pb2 pb3 and the bottom one are compressed block compressed block 2 compressed block 3 right and these are dimensions of the block so available blocks available shapes we have used and these are strength development with the h shape same so that means irrespective of shape and size the strength variation is same in the blocks and of course it is same uh now the range of strength is from 1 to 30 mpa so if you consider 30 mpa strength i think majority of indian um, states are not having uh, high uh, strength bricks uh, uh, burnt bricks only in case of some parts of uttar pradesh and some part of andhra pradesh now in telangana you will get up to 30 mpa otherwise you will never get any burnt brick Uh, the at the uh, strength of 30 mpa even including karnataka you will not get it but this is possible in case of geopolymer now uh, strength required at any age can be made <coughs> we can go for larger development of trials and we can go, even go for phenological uh, model okay so uh, this is the voluminous data is it possible yes so this is the data so we have used 140 samples of course into 5 almost same model we got right this model again strength divided by strength at fluid binder fluid ratio 5 is equal to some constant into binder fluid ratio minus 0.108 so if you get the strength at binder fluid ratio 5 for the given materials we can find the strength at any binder fluid ratio or for any binder fluid ratio we'll get the strength right so anything you can do here the only the constants changes for same model was being used for concrete same model is being used for 
thermally cured blank bla, um, thermally cured blocks and even for uh, the ambient cured blocks also same model is being used but only thing is constants are changed a and b and the validation of model see the dots and the line almost nearer to the plot right no after that we wanted to go for durability test on the block so we have used as team method loss of mass was 2% water absorption was just 2.4% and the we conducted sulfate resistance test and of course it is highly uh, no we have used 5% of magnesium sulfate and prepared and the loss was recorded and this is the one mass loss was just 1.4 less than 1.4% for abs1 series for abs2 series it is around 1% and water absorption was uh, less than 10% and average density is 1.87 to 1.98 almost same it will be around 2 1800 to 1900 kg per meter cube so i am just comparing all the properties of these blocks with respect to ordinary uh, 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 readily available burnt brick and concrete block in, in the market dimensional test we conducted very very good and ira less than 5% and strength development with age as shown up to 30 mpa we can go as the age increases strength also increases even in case of ambient cured blocks and bond shear strength is very high uh, we uh, we prepared the triplet applied load on the middle one and see how the bond strength bond shear strength works this is a typical sustain curve for the block it is same as bond brick modulus sufferability is very high and remember we wanted to test the resistance to temperature so we have used constant duration of 4 hours we kept the block at 200 degrees celsius for 4 hours 400 degrees celsius for 4 hours 600 degrees celsius for 4 hours and 800 degrees celsius for 4 hours same block so the loss of strength even at 4 hours 800 degrees celsius it was just 8% remember if it is uh, concrete it will disintegrate at 600 but geopolymer resisted and loss of strength was just 8 percent so that means this shows that this geopolymer is highly resistant to fire or higher temperature same thing we want to repeat for 400 degrees celsius because 400 is the uh, threshold uh, temperature at which uh, many materials will melt including weak concrete and burnt brick right so we wanted to keep uh, uh, block at 4 degrees Celsius for 2 hours, 4 hours, 6 hours, 8 hours. So, this is the strength, strength loss. So, it is retained strength is 75. That means strength uh, loss is just 25 percent in this case. So, both the tests we have conducted, right? This is loss, uh, strength loss with acids, right? So, it is just 40 percent sulfates and pavers also can be used. So, minimum strength of pavers they say it's 35 to 40 MPa. We got even 40 MPA. That means we can use even for paper blocks. So density durability test was conducted using ASTM. This I already told you. And so far we have developed only mortar and the blocks. Now let us see the concrete mortar. So here uh, the mortar and concrete was used fluid binder ratio 0.35. They are flowable. No compaction effort was needed because it was uh, saturated. And AC method was used to. Um, proportion because there is no method available for geopolymer and uh, it is like uh, OPC concrete and mortar cubes were cast and mortar size uh, mortar cubes was 70.7 mm cube and concrete was 100 mm cube so these are the various uh, proportions that we have used so many 19 samples uh, with all parameters together ambient temperature etc etc and of course this is a mixed proportion for S12 S12 we have found. So we have used fly ash, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, and 14 mm solution and fresh density. And these are the various parameters that we have considered. Molarity was 12 and 14. But for uh, blocks, we have considered 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. But for concrete, we have used only 12 and 14. Fluid content was 2.7 and 227. Binder was fly ash 1 and 2. Uh, GGBA, silica, film, etc. Temperature was ambient and uh, 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 60 degrees Celsius and mortar and concrete were used. And this is the strength development with the age, sorry, with uh, temper, uh, fluid binder ratio. See here, 
as the fluid bond ratio increases, strain decreases. See, it, it starts from 8.5 to this one at one day, right? And if, if you see this graph again, very, very typical graph of uh, the Abzamsla, where uh, uh, in which um, we, this the, 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 the law which we have already discussed, Abrams law. So we have considered around 25, 26 samples, 26 series, all followed the Abrams law. As the water cement ratio increases, strain decreases. Now, in case of Balumis law, it is like this. The sample, right? I think you can see the Balumis law, very typical pattern, right? And of course, here also, we want to develop a model at a different range of fluid bond ratio, that is 0.45 to 0.7, right? And uh, here, these are 160 samples we are tested. Again, we got the say, almost same model in which uh, we can use this model, right? So with the input of single experimental data, that is this, we can predict the strength at any bonded fluid ratio, right? So this is simple method, rational and it avoids multiple trays of course if there is change in material we have to develop again the, this material this uh, uh, strength and redo it and this is the validation our own data ah here it is very important what are the data what are the uh, uh, model that we have generated we wanted to test the data with respect to the uh, data that is reported by the other researchers so I told you just now, Rangan from Continuum University has uh, published a paper in which he has reported various uh, uh, compressive strength, various fluid bond ratio, and we have compared our model with this, and the error is less than 6% here. That means this model is very much applicable for the concrete because we have used other data also. Not only that, not only that, we have used uh, other uh, 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 research cells which are not shown here. And Spit tensile strength is 1.8 to some uh, 8 to 10 12 percent of the uh, compressive strength because we want to test all these things. And we conducted a permeability test. So you can see this is the concrete, uh, to get, uh, control concrete in which we don't use any geopolymer, but depth of penetration is almost less than, uh, of course, except S19. That means DIN code is very much applicable even for this. And sulfate resistance of the concrete, there is irregular variation. There is no much loss in the strength. See here, sulfate resistance. Acid resistance also very less, uh, very high. Means uh, strength, uh, loss, strength loss is very less in case of acid also. So these are all about the geopolymer. I'll get back to this uh, after casting also. And I'll go to phalgy composites. Uh, that's about geopolymer. Geopolymer in, is the one in which we use all aluminosilicate material as binders, flyer, GGBA, silica film, etc., alkaline solution, and finer grade concentrated dimension. In case of algae, it is uh, fly ash, lime, and gypsum. It's a binder. We add in different proportions and make the concrete or blocks. It's a low cost environmental material. It behaves like hydraulic cement, and the reactions are uh, well documented. So we can go for fulgy concrete, fulgy bricks. Of course, it needs curing. Remember, geopolymer may not require curing, but this needs curing. And it is best suited for rural India. It is already demonstrated in the border of uh, Telangana and Varishta by Banamati Das and Kalidas. Those two are uh, chemist, chemists. So here also, if the water binder ratio is less than 0.25, we can go for compressed blocks. Otherwise, we can go for concrete. So there are two routes, lime route and OPC route. I, I don't want to go deep into it because that's not the one. Again, here we tested the blocks using many parameters. I think you can see here, uh, fly ash, lime, gypsum are different. Types of fly ash are different. Aggregate is different. Binder to aggregate ratio, degree of saturation. So here there's various parameters considered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to 10 parameters were considered to recommend fulgy blocks for the construction. So this is the strength variation. Remember, if you see the highest strength is just 4 MPa, whereas in geopolymer it is very, very high, up to 30 MPa. But Falgi cannot get so much to high strength. It stops at 4, etc. And this is the variation of strength with the age. So as the age increases, strength also increases. 
and this is uh, with respect to the binder aggregate ratio same uh, if the if it is diluted strength is less otherwise if it is strength is more so here with uh, degree of saturation this is finest of layer same thing and uh, strength development with lime right slaked and unslaked lime so slaked lime will give at least 20% more strength now we have optimized the percentage of fly ash see uh, this uh, falgi is nothing but combination of fly ash lime gypsum in what proportion we'll see first we have varied the various quantities of fly ash keeping all other things constant and we found 50% of fly ash is uh, optimum now with respect to lime 40 is optimum so 50 and 40 so fly ash lime is over only thing is gypsum so if fly ash is 40 and lime is uh, flash is 15 and lime is 40 then the gypsum should be 5 10 so this was again experimentally tested verified and found that gypsum is 10 percent that means 50 40 10 is the optimum quantity of uh, materials for making the falgi blocks so then we have used compressive strength then it's very less actually um, because it's at the age of 3 uh, days and abrams law is uh, valid again by less than 0.15 it's not possible and 0.25 is okay right so see, see here strength is very less up to 4 mpa only falgi blocks will not have much strength and volume is also is applicable and again you can make a, we can make a model right uh, it is again uh, same with change of change in the um, constant that's all can you hear me sir Can you hear me? Yes. They are yeah, able to hear. Yeah, the, the, I got the that one. It's the no, recording stopped. That's why. After one hour, it will give a signal. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, please continue, no. sir. Please continue. No, no, no problem. And this is the model which we have developed. Again, same thing. Strength at strength at binder fluid ratio of five is equal to some constant into binder fluid binder water ratio, etc. So if you input this parameter experimentally, you can get the strength at any binder fluid ratio. And this is the validation. Uh, of course, all the Uh, uh values are near near nearby nearby uh st 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 straight line and this is the alternate drying test we have conducted and the water absorption is less than 20% and sulfate resistance is very high and we wanted to go for falgi concrete which prompted uh, my mtech student has done it so uh falgi concrete various combinations fsc1 fsc2 fsc3 there also abrams law is valid strength is less than 10 mpa and volume is less also valid so i think you can know the difference here and then again we can go for the model so i am using the same model again in fact uh, this uh, lecture is based on more models so what are the model we have we, the, the jahida banu and uh, nagraj has uh, uh, reported same model is being used for geopolymer thermally cured blocks geopolymer ambient cured blocks falgi blocks falgi concrete right and then this is the validation and this is the summary of uh, all the models fly ash concrete geopolymer i have seen all these things right here everything remains same except the constant see here it is 0.134.1.28 0.107 etc so that means the method used for the development of model is same based on the behavior of the material the constants are changed so if you uh, conduct experiment and draw the graph definitely we can try to make a model and which behaves like this this is another one and what are the applications of geopolymer masonry now i spoke about the geopolymers i spoke about the falgi falgi now i think uh, the lecture or the dissemination of information is incomplete without uh, uh, no Uh, demonstrating the application of the same whatever we had done so here for the application purpose we have used the casting of bricks solid blocks and hollow blocks of geopolymer you know ordinary bricks you know solid blocks you know hollow bricks right all these three so here if you see geopolymer brick wallet we have constructed we have constructed see here at rb college of engineering we are blessed with very good facility of a uh, 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 mini test floor our loading frame in which we can test even the 3 meter high wall so we have wood co chair 
thanks to the government of india so there we have constructed a wall wallet here right so this is the uh, just a schematic representation this is the actual picture there we have used eight molar bricks and the mortar which is used for 166 cement mortar and the bed joints are 10 mm thick and height of the dimension of the wall is this and height to uh, h by t ratio is 10.32 right if you see this is the testing uh, methodology uh, and we have constructed two walls using bricks one is uh, for applying the axial load exactly at the center and one is at the eccentric you can see eccentricity here right so it is not exactly at the center and if you see the white strip here this is uh, used to fix the demo gauge here this demo gauge actually records the strain what is the change in dimension if you apply load so if you know the load if you know the area you can, you can get the stress and if you know the gauge length and if you know the compression you will get the strain so we'll get both stress and strain in this and also failing load at the uh, cracking will also draw the stress strain curve and find the modulus of elasticity you can see here and if you see brick wallet so the axial load is one total is 1.9 mpa in case of eccentric load it is 1.66 and these are the typical graphs of uh, uh, stress strain i think uh, uh, you appreciate me uh, that uh, the axial loading is very high uh, even if even if you use the burnt brick it will be less than 1 mpa it's 1.99 right this is about the uh, bricks and i'll show you more graphs here in the next one you can see at various parts of uh, the uh, wallet you can see the stress strain curve so it is scientifically proved that it is behaving well next is solid blocks so we have constructed the wallet using the solid block right this is a solid block wall that we have tested one is for axial load one is for the uh, eccentric load here the vertical cracks developed from the top and propagated till one third of the height from top and there is spalling also in some cases you can see spalling here right so here this is the various stress strain curve for solid blocks and in case of hollow blocks we are tested in 2015 you see the hollowness here again uh, the uh, axial load and eccentric load eccentric load was 25 mm eccentricity see here so you can see here it was 1.99 in case of solid block so here it is 2.31 that's very high strain in case of axial loading in case of eccentric loading it's 1.95 that means we again we have proved again that hollow block wallets are stronger compared to solid blocks even in case of geopolymer and geopolymers are very stronger compared to the uh, any type of masonry walls that we have proved and we did not keep quiet just by testing the wallet we wanted to construct a small building and demonstrate how it okay, behaves there ends the uh, complete application so we have selected a site at uh, outskirts of bangalore city near durbalapura edirapa layout so where more than 200 janata houses are being constructed one building among all the buildings was constructed using these blocks so i'll tell you this is the plan just a bed, bedroom kitchen hall and wc and this is the elevation so we have used eight smaller blocks using english bond size of the uh, this one is all of this one is six masonry mortar was used bed joint was 10 mm thick all are mortar joints and it is kept open for 24 months without roof slab the entire building was not covered with the roof no concrete roof so it was open for 24 months two years no plastering inside and exposed weathering and of course we did plastering after 24 months let us see so these are the this is the view of the construction i think in 2017 you can see after two years it is no pitting no damage no weathering and this is the during construction this is the, uh, of course after 24 months uh, we, we yielded to pressure to occupy then no change in dimension of the bricks was observed no edges and they will remain sharp no erosion no pitting less water absorption no distress anywhere in the building even after exposing for 24 months right and it was there was a roof slab that was uh, made after the 24 months so that's completely demonstrated that these bricks are useful in construction right and we want to test the thermal comfort of the house uh, after construction so it is proved 
that geopolymer masonry uh, wall or uh, uh, house had warmer was the temperature was little higher in case of month, uh, winter and cooler in case of summer so it is very one or two degrees of course and and it is very good when compared to um, uh, burnt brick or the concrete blocks so we have proved that it is very efficient and this is the one same now can we use these applications anywhere other than this yes sewer pipelines we can be used because sewer pipelines have sewer sewer will have a lot of sulfates and if you use ordinary concrete the sewer pipe will disintegrate so geopolymer is the best material that can use to make sewer pipe and railway sleepers also again uh, uh, railways will have uh, more chlorides and the other things so, so this uh, geopolymer is good precast elements because we can precast chemical resistance walls panels ordinary concrete may not be used mason unit i just demonstrate protective coating where there are acids and uh, chlorides are there we can use even for repair materials short crease and of course for uh, even for making high performance concrete because it's already demonstrated in india yeah, sorry in australia all these things are they are hidden in the patent form in india of course soon it will come to field in india also so just to conclude uh, in case of geopolymers strand development in partially saturated uh, mortar and concrete behaves balumisla and abramsla and these are laws applicable for geopolymer concrete also this method can be used for reproportioning and these models are validated with the independent set of experimental data and the masonry bricks and pavers blocks for good strength and durability and both blocks and concrete good resistance to sulfate and acid we have demonstrated that with various tests more number of tests at different places different materials different parameters and demonstrate in the field in case of geopolymers in case of algae of course abrams and balumisla are used it can be used for masonry blocks and it can be used this model is used for reproportioning <coughs> and these blocks have better durability and of course this technology algae technology is <coughs> very much useful in rural india because they are very uh, low energy materials fly ash lime and gypsum all those are uh, waste materials from the industry and we don't use any thermal or any material thank you very much yeah thank you very much professor <coughs> good presentation very highly informative you started uh, the design and development of uh, materials and uh, mixers finally you end with uh, the case studies what uh, the building was constructed you started with the cement paste mortar and concrete blocks and valets see this is the application part you are given clearly the advantages of uh, using geopolymer concrete so it uh, already it has started in a slow manner especially the janta houses or any government uh, low cost building materials because it has to be done uh, for the society see because the housing uh, is a our prime minister of india is also uh, targeting housing sector for all the poor people see one of the way is just to use a sustainable materials industrial by products are there how to construct cost effective professor also rightly told that banumati das and kalidas i also interacted they have a research center in vizag they built lot of housing projects during the period of chandra babu naidu i visited two projects yes sir yes sir yes sir when uh, they made a fly ash door fly ash windows fly ash everything you mm. name any part of the building it is made up of fly ash and also it is done within the 50000 at that time during his tenure only see this is now picking up uh, slowly therefore all the nirmiti kendra engineers whenever you come across this type of any cost effective structures are required for the needy people you can propose all these things for any help uh, definitely professor is available lot of research has done we can visit once uh, are we also when we are in bangalore we will take you and you can see the what are the works uh, carried out in avi college of engineering also it is a funded project uh, the uh, chair is there a uh, hardcore chair that is mass housing how to design and uh, buildings with a large scale with a cost effective low cost technology low cost means uh, it should uh, fulfill the requirement also not simply low cost so uh, thank you uh, once again and also i request hello, hello? so now i request uh, the participants to please interact if any queries are there 
Sharad Kumar, any questions in the chat box? No, sir. Uh, um, Professor, I want to... Arpita Gowda is asking some question. I think oh. you have to unmute, unmute Arpita Gowda. Uh, she is assistant engineer from PWD. Yeah. Please go ahead. Madam, Arpita, you can ask question. Yes, yes ma'am. Please yes. go ahead. So just one question. Yeah. What is the life cycle analysis for your uh, comparison with respect to normal brick block buildings with respect to geopolymer blocks? Very good. Uh, well, madam, that very good question. Presentation. A very good question, madam. Uh, it is not part of uh, uh, scope of my presentation today. Definitely, it is a sustainable material. Oh. First of all, we are using the waste material. And it is acid resistance uh, yes. um, and uh, sulfate resistance and uh, very durable. And you, even if it disintegrates, we can use that as uh, aggregate for making other concrete also. So definitely, uh, it will have a very good life, madam. So somebody can take up this as issue. Uh, just to get the exact picture, we can take it. I, I feel at surface level that this life cycle will be very good compared to any other material uh, because it's sustainable. Sir, for my side, one question. Actually, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I saw the building what you constructed in uh, the Balapur. Ah. So, what is the metal used for plastering, sir? Here, uh, plastering we used. Uh, no, no, we, we we did not go, sir. Actually, without our okay. consent, they, there was a pressure. They used uh, cement mortar only. Even okay. for the construction of the building, uh, masonry mortar use was uh, cement mortar only because uh, the the mason did not uh, uh, accept to use the geopolymer mortar because it was rating. There is one more uh, presentation my, from my site called Fundamentals of Geopolymers, wherein we can know the precautions while using this because there are uh, indications that it's a, a very highly uh, alkaline solution. So it should not fall on your skin. And uh, I think I, it is there already in the uh, uh, YouTube. More than 12,000 people already watched that. Okay. Uh, if time permits, I'll I'll do that also later. Okay, uh, nice. uh, there are very issues. Uh, that yes, means sir. only the blocks, the geopolymer blocks are used and the mortar and the plaster. Yes, plaster. Yes, 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 okay. sir, yes, sir. yes, sir. That's for information. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Any, Any other, other question? Sanat also can ask question. Sanat, please. Sanat? Uh, no, sir. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Any questions from the engineers? Because they are very important. They are... Uh, they are applicators. They are applicators. They are applicators. In fact, anybody from Raichur, Kashutek? Jab Jabshet is there, sir? No, no, Jabshet is not with us now. <laughs> okay. Another person. Ravi. Is Ravi. Ravi. Ravi also left. He is not in Kashutek now. Both are not okay. there. Okay, okay, okay. But a new person, sir, died. I think uh, they have one program today in uh, Kashutek. Therefore, he has not done. Uh, okay, okay. Here. okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much, Professor, for uh, okay, thank you. valuable time with us. And, uh, thank you. We're very happy to hear the lot of research done by you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, now it is uh, a few students also there. Inubiti Kendra engineers make use of this technology. And Professor is available. Whenever you want, you can approach him. We will share his mail ID and also the uh, contact number. See, actually, finally, it has to be taken in big way, you, are, you people only. Because whatever the research we have done, it has been validated with the so many uh, everything. The finally, end users can take with boldly and experiment yourself at your field. Thank you once again to all of Sanat, you. Sanat, I have a question, Sanat. Yeah, yeah Sanat. That, uh, this is uh, actually recorded, right? In the, is it available in the uh, YouTube? YouTube? Yeah, yeah. It is available, sir. Share in the group if, if possible. Sir, already shared, sir. No, no, YouTube link. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Yes, Recorded, right? Yeah, yeah. Recorded. Yes, okay, because, okay. Sir, what we did, uh, all these upskilling programs will be public domain now. Okay, okay, right. Because, it should be in public domain, yeah. yeah because it is, uh, all engineers who are all attended, not attended, who are all well wishers, they can see that. Yeah, yeah. And, it's a public uh, we, are going, we are going to post all these things on skill Very development good. website also. Very good, sir. The activities carried out. Uh, therefore, we are recording uh, all yeah. the, almost all off and, uh, online lectures. Okay, good. Offline also, we are planning for next session because okay. we have recorded uh, it is available as a documentary evidence for us. Uh, so mm -hmm. whenever we retry, we retry and uh, educate ourselves and also any doubts we can carry also. Okay, sir. Right. I Thank have you. Link yeah. to you, sir. Uh, you can uh, utilize, sir. Yeah, please, please, please. Please, sir. Uh, and also, I request all the Nirmiti Kendra engineers, you just uh, put the feedback form. Is it attendance for you uh, for attending these uh, online classes? And the phase three will commence on Monday onwards. You have to report at VTU Mudanelli for another 13 days. So already schedule. Sanat Kumar, schedule you can show. Yes, sir. One yeah. minute. Because uh, just please note, uh, we're all there. Uh, Sunday evening, we, we, all the arrangements are made with respect to hostel and food, everything. 
you can uh, come back Saturday. Those who are able to travel morning, you must reach before 10 o'clock. And also the oh, next day, we are having a metro visit also. Almost today it has been delivered by the MD. And we are taking all the engineers for the tunnel boring machine and also the casting ahead of the tunnel segments. Very good. Sir, yeah. they are very good topics, in fact. How is it, sir? All the, yeah, it is, yeah, I can see the list online. Yeah, yeah. It's shared. Uh, I very think good. 13 lectures are there. So, oh. Sanat Kumar himself is talking on GPS and total station. Very good. Very good. So nice. Sir, it is a combination of almost all uh, topics connected to the uh, field applications. Yeah, construction management, uh, some uh, available uh, verticals. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One of, right. uh, one of the lecture is from your student, Colonel Vinod, also. Ah, oh, nice, nice. He's a good yeah. speaker. Yeah, actually, we have scheduled for uh, Namo Metro. Before going to the Metro project, at least we can see it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. okay Thank sir. you, Professor. Once right, again, for your time. Thank you very much. And, uh, Thank yeah. you very much. Okay, yeah. bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you all. I'll bye. thank you all the Nirmitik engineers. We are going to conclude. This is the last lecture. And uh, Monday onwards, we have uh, offline classes. Uh, any other things required, please contact. Janardhan is there with respect to hostel and uh, any other issues. And any other things, you can call me over phone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. Yeah. It's a little slow in that.